If you hack somebody's page, will you get sued? Damn, I could have ruined this nigga life. Remember now, if you hire a nerd, Gerard is not going to be able to find out who it was. <gasps> yes, sir. We would have been at a million subscribers, I'm telling you. Like I'm saying, a million views, I've been there, done that. Come on now. What? What the fuck? You don't, you don't even get views unless you talk about your best friend. <laughs> What's good YouTube, it's your boy Gerard Smith, aka The Drip Poppy on stuff. You see the drip, we got some drip on today. I wanna first say thank you guys for investing your time into this video. I really appreciate it. And for today's video, man, it's gonna be a little bit of a different type of video. Before we start getting back into the normal videos, normal broadcasts that I got coming for y'all next week, pretty much what I'm gonna be talking to y'all about is the truth between me and Kaya. Now look, I know a lot of y'all seen the video. The video got a million views, man. I first, before I even get into this video, just wanna say thank you. That was one of my biggest goals when starting my YouTube channel was to get a video to hit over a million views. And you guys, did that for me i am so appreciative for all of my supporters y'all mean the world to me and i just want to start off by saying that before we get into all the real shit in this video so to start this video off i have no beef i have no anger i have none of that towards kaya i simply think the situation was just handled very poorly i'm not going to choose sides i'm not going to say who handled it poorly or who made it this way or who made the situation this bad but what i will say is that i'm here to clear the air for all of my supporters now listen for any of kaya's supporters that are watching this video this is not a hate video this is not a video to deter you from being a fan of kaya or supporter of kaya this is simply to put out there what y'all need to know and why everything is the way it is because honestly there's two sides to every story and i'm just here to give you my side and i got the facts to back up everything that i need to tell you guys today so today was an interesting day today our video Video hit 1 million subscribers. Today was supposed to be a great day. It was supposed to be a fun, interesting day to celebrate an achievement that not every YouTube channel gets to accomplish. But I posted this caption on my Instagram with a photo. So in this caption, it doesn't say anything about Kaya. It doesn't say thanks to Kaya at all or give her any type of shout out in any way. So I'm here to explain to you guys why she wasn't mentioned and to clarify all of the things that she left out when she mentioned why she wasn't mentioned. <laughs> Anyways, take it back two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I posted the My Thing Got Hard video. I honestly thought Kaya was my friend. I thought she was a cool person, and I genuinely wanted to help her success and her YouTube career. A collaboration is a mutual exchange of subscribers, support, and honestly, even friendships. Now, before anybody says, oh, you Cloud Chase, she created you. She made your channel. I had a channel far before I made videos with Kaya. I've had viral videos far before I made videos with Kaya. And three, my videos that I collabed with Kaya on my channel have been more successful than her videos that she collabed with on her channel. Four, I also know how to find videos that entertain my supporters and the people that watch me, which is why my videos were more successful than her videos because I chose the right videos. No person has created me or my YouTube channel. I only got a hundred subscribers off of Kaya. If you look here, these are my statistics ever since my video started to blow up. I got all of my subscribers simply off the fact that I tagged my video efficiently and made the right thumbnails. I also promoted my video to the right audience. All of these things contributed to my video getting recommended and also getting suggested. Now, if you're new to YouTube, being recommended and being suggested means that YouTube itself promotes your video around the website. So when YouTube started promoting my video around the website and all these people started watching my video they started to subscribe to my channel all of these subscribers that i have gained have come from my work of art that me and kaya both contributed it i'm only saying this because i just want to clear the arguments off and all the comments of the people saying that you should be grateful for this you should be grateful for that because no i work hard and i've had this youtube channel far before i met kaya and all the collab videos that i've made with other people have good views as well all of these videos were successful and got over 100K because they were trending topics that I found that a lot of people were doing, but I added my own spice to. Now, to get to what you are all waiting for, why do me and Kaya not mess with each other anymore? Listen, so two weeks ago when I posted the video, me and Kaya were perfectly cool. So after the first day, Kaya did not promote the video anymore after that. It was simply me. I promoted on every single social media outlet that I had, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, YouTube itself. I was promoting it everywhere. It was literally my big accomplishment. The video got to 100 
thousand views in the first two days that it was up. Now, cut back. When the video hit 400,000 views, you can see in this chat right here, which was the 22nd. I was supposed to film two videos for Kaya's channel. No, Kaya filmed four videos for her channel that she never posted, but she'll never tell you that though. So to try to get Kaya on track because I was ahead of her in videos filmed. So at some point, Kaya decided that she didn't want to film two of her videos the day that I filmed two of my videos. So I was trying to get her on track because she started losing focus. I tried to get her focused. So in this conversation, I texted and I said, do you want to film tonight or tomorrow? So because I saw that she was at a party, she was enjoying herself. I said, okay, I'm just not going to say anything. I'm going to just hit her up tomorrow and maybe she'll hit me up tomorrow. So tomorrow comes November 23rd. I sent her hi, just, you know, as a message to just refresh and be like, oh yeah, I sent you a text message in case she got a few text messages and didn't see my text message. November 24th, I told myself this was the last time I was going to message her ever. If she didn't respond, I wasn't going to say anything to her ever. On this message, I said, is everything okay? Because I was making sure she was good. I was making sure she was straight if there was any personal stuff going on because we had a conversation that we were going to be friends first over the YouTube and if she had any problems that she could come to me and talk about them. So somebody came to my DMs and told me that on Kaya's live, she stated that she was never going to film a video with me ever again. Completely out the random. There's never been any bad blood between me and Kaya yet now out of nowhere, it's she never wants to film a video with me ever again. Now in my eyes, I don't first go to being cocky, but the first thing that I could assume was that during that time period, my video had 400,000 views and the video we filmed for her channel only had 15,000 views. Every person that I asked said that she's probably upset because your video is doing better than hers. I instantly didn't want to think that, but it was a good thought. It was something that made sense because we were perfectly fine before that and the video started doing well and next thing you know, she stopped talking to me. By all means, I am not saying that that is fact. I'm not saying that that is what happened or that that's what she had going on or anything of that sort. That is just what people were telling me and what I was starting to think. I never acted on those thoughts. I never wrote anything anywhere on my stories. I never came at her in any way. I never messaged her. I never said anything to her. I just focused on my video and promoting my video and continuing to upload videos and continuing to entertain my supporters. So now it comes to today. So because of this whole process, I was a little frustrated because I thought that we were cool and that we were going to start a cool friendship and we'll be able to collab and entertain our supporters. It really had nothing to do with the collab honestly because I'm perfectly fine collabing with other youtubers in the area it only had to do with the fact that she never said anything to me you couldn't even say anything as like I don't want to collab anymore or I want to go on a different route or anything she didn't say anything to me she just left me in the dark so come today the big day the big one mil so I made a post. I did not mention Kaya at all. I actually unfollowed Kaya a week ago. It was a week after she didn't respond because I felt there was no need for me to follow her and there was no need for me to think of her as a friend. So when I made the post, Kaya was the last thing on my mind. The only thing that I was focused on was thanking you, my supporters, for supporting me and helping me get the video to a million views. You guys are amazing, you guys are a blessing. So that's what I did. I thanked myself and I thanked my supporters because I worked very hard to get that video out there and my supporters worked two times harder to get that video out there. Those the people that I wanted to thank. So about an hour after I posted the post, Kaya goes on a story and says this. So I want to first explain her message. She first starts off by saying I didn't message her to say thank you. Yes, she hasn't messaged me in two weeks. So apparently I was supposed to message her again. Two, she goes on to talk about fake pranks yet She's filmed plenty of fake pranks, but I'm not gonna put you under the bus because it's not my place. I don't need to go out and try to end your career. I don't need to go out to try to end your YouTube channel. Everything that I stated on my story was facts. That's it. I have all the proof that y'all need. So she says all of that. She clearly contradicts herself because she said that my prank was fake. And then she says her acting is A1, which means that she's fooling her own supporters at the same time. And she thinks by coming at me and telling me my prank was fake and then saying that she has good acting, she's gonna get support for that. And I don't see how that that makes any sense. So after that, I responded and said, isn't that lovely? My reasoning, lack of promotion, bad tagging and horrible title, which is true. Everything that I was supposed to help her fix, but she didn't let the collaboration get far enough to even do that. She never asked anything. She didn't want to learn anything. So she didn't gain any knowledge. I then proceeded to say that your videos only do well if they feature a continuous male in it, meaning that they only do well if she has a male on her channel consistently. Reason why you guys ask her where's best friend at every video she posts. Every video that she has that is popular features best friend. You can say the 
same thing for me saying that I post videos and collab with girls and I collab with this, this, and that. But I collab with different people and I pride myself in collabing with people because I find it joyful to see how other people react in videos and, and allowing other people to see what it's like to be on YouTube and maybe even expand onto coming to YouTube themselves and becoming content creators. Because I like to share the wealth, I like to share the information and the knowledge, and I give it to everyone that I collab with, no matter who they are, no matter what they're doing. So you can never say that I'm fake or that I do people dirty, and especially not in this situation because all I wanted to do was help you. One of her biggest issues was the fact that I didn't tag her in my post about my 1 million view video. But isn't she tagged in the description on every single video that I've made with her? Isn't she the one who shouted herself out? in the 1 million view video? Isn't she the one that's being seen on all of these videos? Or am I tripping? Cause I must be tripping. For me, I'm thinking there's a little bit of jealousy of the fact that there's a 1 million view video and only one of us received the amount of support that I received. I received 30,000 subscribers off of this video. Kaya only received 2,000 subscribers off of this video. And it has nothing to do with me, it's not my fault. If a million people watch a video and only 2,000 subscribes to you, that's not my fault, that's not anyone's fault. It just means that they don't mess with you the way that you think they mess with you. And she's blaming that on me. Next, so she posted this on her story again. Peep how she said, I'm not her friend, I'm not her manager, I'm not her nigga, all of those things. All of that is correct now. Everything that she said is correct now. To my understanding, I thought we were friends. To my understanding, I thought it was more than business, but I learned myself a valuable lesson about friends and business. I strictly made it clear that there's a fine line between just strictly business and being friends. And I tried to clear that line and make more of a friendship out of it so that it was actually fun to make videos. And I had to support her to even make videos on YouTube again. I'll get into that later. This is her response. Remember, she said we weren't friends. Remember that. She also claims that she's never been jealous and that she thinks that she made me and that I would be nothing without her. No, in this screenshot right here, it says something a little bit different. The first thing I thought about when I thought about her getting a Mac was to teach her how to make thumbnails. That's all I want to do is help her build her channel because she's not good at tagging, she's not good at titles, and she doesn't have a MacBook to properly edit thumbnails or properly edit her videos. In the end, Kai, I only kept it G with you, I kept it real. You did me dirty, you faked out on me, you went out on Instagram rather than call me or shoot me a text message. You did all of this for attention and you know you did. I don't want to go onto this whole YouTube beef Scene. I just wanted to clear my name and clear my supporters and my brand and my channel because a lot of people are going to try to take you down when they see that you're doing good. So I just want to say this. I hope your channel does great. I support you. And at the end of the day, we're black and we're both trying to make money. So keep doing you and focus on yourself and stop focusing on others. And maybe you'll succeed a little bit more in life. And for all of Kaya's supporters, I just want to say this. Before you go in the comment section and try to slaughter me, no cocky shit. I'm the reason Kaya is still making videos. I'm the reason Kaya gave you the content that you've had the past couple of weeks. Before I collabed with Kaya, Kaya was contemplating deleting her entire YouTube channel. She had posted on her story that she was quitting YouTube. So to stop her from ending her whole career and the potential to be something better because not only was she thinking of quitting YouTube, she was contemplating deleting her entire channel. No explanation to any of y'all, just completely deleting her channel. So at the end of the day, my whole plan was to grow our channels and keep her from quitting YouTube. And how she repays me in the end is to tell me that I'm a clout chaser, that I only used her for views, that I faked out on her, and that she made me. Yet, I'm the reason you're still here and all of my videos are flourishing because I actually study the game of YouTube. It's unbelievable and it's crazy, it's fucking crazy. But at the end of the day, like I said, I wish you success on your career. I wish you success in your YouTube field. Stop trying to flaunt on people. Stop trying to act like you're better than everybody. You're just a YouTuber at the end of the day. And we are nothing without our supporters. So make sure you start thanking your supporters. Once again, because y'all are the most important thing, I just want to thank my supporters once again for helping me get my video to 1 million views. I really appreciate y'all. It was one of the most heartwarming moments ever. Waking up and seeing 1 million views is something that's just, I never thought about. It's just a dream come true. It's something crazy. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. And if you subscribe, make sure you click the bell. If you don't click the bell, you'll never know when I post. For Kaya supporters, if you're here, if you want to join the family over here, make sure you please click the subscribe button. And if you subscribe to me, that does not mean unsubscribe to Kaya. That doesn't mean show hate to Kaya. And with no further ado, man, I'm out this video. Yeah.
Bitchy be capping, ain't none even happen Stop lying on your pussy, you bitches is whack You niggas is fool, you niggas is liars My nigga make money, fulfilling desires I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it You niggas just listen, I swear I'm controlling We move on the mission, you niggas just strolling Where is the best?